Fainting is a very common clinical problem. It's also known as syncope. Fainting occurs when a person loses consciousness and they often slump over in a chair or fall to the floor. Most people don't realize that fainting occurs because of a sudden drop in blood flow to the brain. The brain requires a continuous flow of blood in order to supply nutrients and oxygen to the brain tissues. And if the blood flow to the brain is suddenly reduced, that's when a person can start to feel lightheaded, they can feel hot and sweaty, the vision can become dark, and then a person can lose consciousness. Usually once they hit the floor, the blood flow is restored, the brain wakes up again, and the person regains consciousness usually within a minute or two. Now the reason that the blood flow to the brain suddenly stops is usually related to blood pressure. In order for the blood to get from the heart to the brain, the heart has to produce a certain amount of pressure to force the blood uphill against the force of gravity. If the blood pressure suddenly drops, that's when blood flow to the brain stops. Usually a person looks very pale because there's no blood getting to the skin on their face either. Now, the reason for a drop in blood pressure as a cause of fainting, well, there may be many. Sometimes the blood is just simply in the wrong place at the wrong time, or there may not be enough blood in the body. Sometimes it's due to a medication side effect. But the most common cause of fainting is actually due to an abnormal reflex in the brain that causes a sudden inappropriate drop in blood pressure and sometimes slowing of the heartbeat. This usually occurs under stressful circumstances, but not always. It's often referred to as vasovagal fainting or vasovagal syncope. Now, another cause of a sudden drop in blood pressure is actually a heart rhythm disturbance. If the heart suddenly slows down dramatically or stops for several seconds, or on the other hand, if the heart suddenly starts beating very rapidly because of an electrical disturbance in the heart known as an arrhythmia, then the blood pressure can simply bottom out and the person can faint very quickly, sometimes without warning. In order to diagnose the cause of fainting, we usually have to be there when it happens, and that's the challenging part. Since we're not usually there, we often have to do provocative testing in order to try to uncover the cause of fainting.